Hi, this is Greg from Rancho Bible, and this is my review of the New Balance More V3. I will show you the shoe first. And let's start by talking about the specs of this shoe. It comes in 288 grams in my size 42.5. It has a stack height of 38 millimeter to 34 millimeter, 38 at the back, 34 at the front, having a four millimeter drop. It has an engineered mesh upper and the outsole has those important parts where you land, having some exposed midsole fresh foam there okay so let's start by it by talking about the huge heel stack height okay 38 millimeter guys is huge so the weight obviously reflects that height there because almost 100 grams is quite um, heavy it doesn't mean that it feels heavy when you're running it because it's very soft but obviously the stack height reflects that weight. It has a four millimeter drop only, which is very low drop. Um, if you compare it to other shoes that have eight, 10 millimeter drops. But what does that mean? Since it's ha it has a high stack height at the back and a low drop, it means that in the forefoot, it has a very high level of cushioning. And I can say here in front of everyone that this is the most cushioned slow run shoe in the forefoot part even at the back but the forefoot especially with that low drop 34 millimeter the majority of running shoes don't even have 34 millimeter at the back let alone 34 millimeter of fresh foam in the front as the name suggests more more v3 there more means more of the 1080 version the 1080 version is new balances daily trainer version and um, all made of fresh foam and more means we have more fresh foam from the 1080 okay i have one question here because as you can see there is fresh foam x there and there is x on the insole too i will show you x but there is no x here so when there's limit, so there's no X written, and if I'm not mistaken, the version 12 of the 1080 started creating the Fresh Foam X. So this doesn't have, if I'm not mistaken, the Fresh Foam X, but it's written on the tongue and in the insole, but not on the midsole. Okay, but that's something we have to see. Um, let's talk more about the upper of the shoe now. Let's go to the upper. The upper is made of an engineered mesh that's very comfortable. It's not that breathable because as you can see, um, there's a lot going on in there. It's the first time I ran in this shoe, I felt it was a bit high up and it was touching my ankle. Like here, it's a bit higher than usual, obviously because of the high stack height, then it comes up in the ankle and it was a bit dodgy but then as i ran more in the shoe it got comfortable and i didn't notice that issue more it has a lot of construction and stability as you can see okay in the upper let's go to the midsole now a chunky fresh foam block of 38 to 34 it's very soft that you can see it's made of two layers a dual it has a dual system the lower part is in my opinion more soft look how soft it is and the upper part is a bit more hard and together they make the fresh foam of the more v3 okay now let's go to the outsole i'm a bit worried of the outsole as you can see here after 50 kilometers i have some wear showing but i think it will fade out soon and um, it's like the first part of the fading here but i hope now that the outsole will last it should last long i'm seeing this 
Um, outsole to last over 600 kilometers, definitely. Okay. Uh, what is this shoe made for? This shoe is made to go slow. When I was running in it, it wants to go slow. I tend to like shoes with this identity. In what sense? It has one identity, to go slow and long. It is a recovery max. It is a max cushioned recovery run shoe. It's not a tempo shoe. It's not a fast day shoe. It's not a track day shoe. It's not made for that. I was going an uphill with this shoe and it felt a bit hard to go uphill. It's not a shoe that shoe that gives you a lot of return. It doesn't have a plate. And the foam is not that, you know, snappy. But its job is to absorb the impact of the runner and help you to go mile after mile for long in a slow way. So it's not versatile. It has that one identity and it does it very well. The first run I wasn't that much convinced because I felt it was a bit, you know, heavy and clunky. But I can assure you that from the second, third, fourth run, I'm starting to like the shoe a lot. And coming from a bit of an injury period, I'm turning to the shoe every time to go for my easy runs. So it's offering me, offering me a very pleasant feeling. Okay. So that's basically my opinion about the uh, more V3. I'm looking forward for the more V4. There are, there should be some updates. What would I change personally? I would change a couple of things. I would try and make it lighter. There is too much going on in the upper. I would try to reduce the weight of the upper. I would try to make the midsole a bit more responsive than it is to help you go forward. Okay. And I would include some outsole rubber here. Okay. Because it's showing that the wear is showing already here. Okay. So those are my thoughts of the New Balance More V3. In the meantime, take care of each other and always remember that today, today's good mood is sponsored by running.